so. Spiral. <laughs> Twisted pictures. Haven't seen haven't seen twisted pictures in a while. The fuck? <clears throat> Yeah. <laughs> what what the fuck was that shit? Um at first why why is my man Samuel looking like uh Mr. Glass? Did you see that? Hold on a second. Go back. What is this? Okay, that, that voice sounded terrible. Was it was that voice supposed to be creepy or something? Yeah, yeah. Why is he looking like Mr. Glass right here? <laughs> is, is, is Samuel is Samuel gonna uh, is he gonna die in a uh, saw trap or something like that? Uh, and then and what, what did it say at the end? There's something very overwhelming, underwhelming. There's something there's something very underwhelming. Excuse me. I, I like that Darren is directing. That's cool. But what's this featuring a music? Yeah. Featuring original music by 21 Savage and Slaughter Gang. Yeah, that sounds absolutely terrible. What? That sounds terrible. By the way, I, I don't I I, I mean it, it looks pretty bad. It looks pretty bad. I get I there could be some there could be some potential, maybe, but uh I'm not gonna lie to you. Like for me, in my opinion, okay, as someone who saw like the first two Saw movies, and then I just dipped out because, like, the second one was, uh, uh, the first one's, like, a fucking masterpiece of horror cinema, in my opinion, especially for low-budget horror. And the rest of the Saw movies, I just completely ignored, and I've kind of, I've seen bits and pieces of throughout the, uh, throughout the years, but, um, yeah, I, in my in my personal opinion, that looks pretty bad. <laughs> it looks pretty bad, pretty bad. Um, by the way, though, I I saw him. I saw him for a second, but my boy Chris. Let me see here. Hold up, really quick. So so I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with uh, with magic. I love magic. And by the way, if you're watching right now, uh, comment, say something, pussy. But uh, but uh, I love this magician right here. Let's see here. I love this magician right here. Uh, he's he's pretty cool. Uh, he, he it's weird. Like he's a magician, but but I, I ironically I don't I don't really I don't really watch him a lot for his magic. I actually watch him a lot 
for him talking about like well let me rephrase i don't watch him so much for his magic i actually just watch him for mostly when he's talking about other magicians and when he's talking about puzzles uh oddly because he's, he's he's like a full-time magician unless i missed a memo but anyways this guy he's in the movie spiral that's what i'm talking about him. he's in the movie spiral hell he's in the trailer uh, I'm not interested in going back to Brand, but yeah, he's definitely in the trailer. I, I saw him in there. Looks like he was laying on something, train tracks or something. Not really sure, but uh, uh, but but yeah, the the movie the movie looks pretty bad. You understand me? Looks pretty bad. <laughs> looks pretty bad. Um, if there if there was humor going on, uh, the humor didn't work. Uh, if they were trying to scare me, um, nothing stood out. Uh, they're trying to entice me and be like, "Oh my God, there's a new Saw movie! Aren't you excited?" Uh, that didn't work either. So I'm not, I'm not sure what's going on. I guess, I guess they've decided to try to take Chris Rock and see if if that works with the Saw movie universe. Which not, not really sure how that makes sense. Not really, not really sure how that makes sense. Um, actually. Because he he came up for just a second, he came up for just a second. I don't know if I'm interested enough to try to go back to find him and see something. Let me pull this back up. And by the way, if you hear me sniffling, I can't do anything about it. I'm so sorry. I'll try to mute when I fucking sneeze, but until I get used to this cat, I, I'm, I'm literally doing the best that I can. So my apologies. It's like I'm ordinarily never sick, never sniffly on the mic. This might be the first time I've ever even been sniffly or sneezing with the microphone. But then again, I'm not usually around fucking cats. Anyhow. That was, a, that was such a bad line delivery. Jesus Christ. Okay, I think he's about to come up. Hold on. Yeah! Ah, fuck! He comes up for just a second. Jesus, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, that's him. That's him. We only need to go no further, because he's in, he's in this bitch for just a second. But yeah, the magician, Chris Ramsey, that's him right there. That's him right there. That's him right there. That is him right there. So, fun little, fun little Easter egg. And this is his, uh, Actually, I should show you his fucking channel because this fucking channel is dope. Um, oh, thank God, no videos play. Whew. Or you, you know, sometimes videos auto auto play. Thank God that didn't happen. But yeah, this is his channel. His channel is amazing. Again, for a motherfucker that's all about being a magician and magic. Ironically, I just follow him for when he's talking about other magicians and um, and his puzzle. His puzzle videos are absolutely insane uh when i worked at amazon which was horrible um like on my breaks i like his puzzle videos used to like soothe me uh which maybe sounds weird or something i don't know don't care but uh but no his puzzle videos are absolutely fucking fantastic um and his coverage of magic is just hypnotizing um really 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 cool uh channel I would almost dare I say underrated. I like I, I get that he has like four million subscribers, but this is one of those people where it's like it's 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 it boggles my mind that he, he doesn't just he doesn't just have like forty million subscribers or something. So yeah, you should definitely check him out. I, I would highly recommend his channel. It's way more stimulating, uh way more impressive than this trailer. I can tell you that off rip. 